Wings Hockey on Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by Comcast. Call 1-800-COMCAST for TV, phone, and internet. And by the Romani Eye Institute, the most trusted name in eye care. The Stanley Cup playoffs are a challenge like no other in sports. Each game, the importance and intensity rise until the cup is raised. Tonight, it's game two of the playoff journey. The Red Wings are facing an early test in the tourney with the Phoenix Coyotes. The veteran Wings team has seen most every scenario, but game two provides a chance to gain momentum. A raucous arena awaits, and a focused Red Wings team is eager to prove that they have what it takes to rise to the occasion. Game two starts now. You can't panic. You, you have to play with more desperation, but uh, you, know, you can't have any panic out there. And I think we, we know we have to play a lot better in special teams. We did score one goal on, on our power play, but PK wasn't as good as, as you have to be in the playoffs, and that's something we have to correct. Welcome back inside Jobbing.com Arena in Glendale, Arizona. Ken Daniels, Mickey Redman in the broadcast booth. John Keating along with us. Jimmy Howard is second. Playoff start. 32 saves game one, but he did suffer his first regulation loss in 16 games going back to March 9th. Ilya Brzezgalov, 38 saves in game one. He let a floater get past him from Thomas Holmstrom, but that didn't phase him. He was terrific after that, but the Red Wings say to a man, they need more second, third chances, have to get to the net, create some havoc, be bigger. There's Dennis LaRue doing a little dance for us. He's number 14. Chris Rooney is number five. They're the referees tonight. The Red Wings will start with Henrik Zetterberg, Todd Bertuzzi, and Valtteri Filippo. Trying to change that up. They went with Pavel Datsuk in game one. Countering for Phoenix. Vernon Fiddler between Lee Stepniak and Taylor Pyatt as this game is underway. And back to get it is McCulloch with a lead pass. Stepniak stood up at the line as Cronwall's on defense with Stewart. Back into his own zone, Bertuzzi lost the puck. Big Hyatt pushed him. As Bertuzzi goes into the corner to knock down his check, Hyatt threw it in front of the goal. Zetterberg couldn't clear, nor could Bertuzzi. Fiddler moves up there, Hyatt to the front of the net! Off the side of the goal! Oh, and he bowls over his man, no call there! The first penalty last game went to Vernon Fiddler for interference on the goaltender, and what will we have here? This one, I believe, Mick Hyatt went in why his own. Why are they calling this penalty so late? It was. I was just going to say it was a good five seconds late, and that's why Pyatt's upset. Yeah, he, Not he that it wasn't interference. He didn't call the penalty until they get up and get out of the crease. They were there for about five seconds, then they get out, and he's standing there, and they start pointing at him. So good pressure by Phoenix right off the hop. And that was a very close chance. Good save by Howard. And there he gets, he his complaints he was bumped in. He may have one too. So Detroit to the power play right off the top. Red Wings got a goaltender interference power play 6.09 in the game one. They've got one earlier than that now. Belt higher power play is Lidstrom. To Rafalski the shot. And that one off the side as Brzezgala came out at the edge of the blue. Picking it up there is Franzen. Moves it across. Datsuk shoots. Hit a body in front. Holmstrom trying to get there. And it's over the stick of Nick Lidstrom. And back down ice. Lidstrom. Got one ahead. Franzen. Worked right into traffic. Back there is Korpakowski. Great jump in the air to hold in Rafalski. Back for Lidstrom. In behind the goal. Holmstrom can't get there. Datsuk comes in. He's got that puck. Back high slot. Lidstrom shooting in that missed. Datsuk moving in on it. Takes his time. Pulls it back. Rafalski to the middle. Lidstrom didn't one time. Rafalski, he will, but it's that's deflected there. and ramped up out of play. Faceoff will come deep though, and Brian Rafalski, Mick, as you spoke of in our open, was a workhorse in game one. Yeah, he was almost 30 minutes, and he's not a big man. They had to wear him out. As I said, they, they targeted Rafalski also. They pounded him every opportunity they can. And that's going to wear you down for sure. When you can't protect a guy jumping in on you anymore, the way the rules are called, it's Tough on the defenseman, boy. They're very vulnerable. Penalty Detroit for a hook. Two Vancouver Canuck guys, and they're going to have words right now. Bertuzzi and Ed Jovanowski were at each other's throats the other night. 
And we're going to see a lot more of that tonight. And that's what we need. Detroit does. But Bertuzzi right there. Not taking the hooking penalties, but getting involved. Yeah, boy. You can see why Bertuzzi was calling him a you-know-what for... Yeah, you know what it is. It's uh, thank you very much. Merry Christmas <laughs> to you too, Todd. It's a family show, Todd. Yes, it is, but uh, that's because Jovanowski got a 9.9 .9 on that baby, so four on four we go. Jovanowski had seven hits for Phoenix in game one. Don't let them with nine. Red Wings know they have to match the physicality here tonight as Philpola comes through with Sedeberg. Crossing onside, the shot in, and that'll be held by Brzgalov. And there will be a face-off coming up to his right. Third in wins during the regular season with 42, eight shutouts. That was second best and a third best goals against. He was bettered in the save percentage department by Jimmy Howard, but still in the top 10. A waiver pickup from Anaheim because Brian Burke said he'd do him a favor and move him on because he couldn't deal him. How, I don't know. But Phoenix he wasn't going to play. There. He wasn't going to play in Anaheim either. So. Yeah. They were waiting on Jonas Hiller to develop, and that's why Brzgalov was gone, and now jaguer has gone, and Hiller's their man. Good goaltender. Cronwall. Quick pass ahead to Henrik Zetterberg. Mishandled at center, brought ahead by Martin Hansel. Long shot in. Howard leaves it there for Rafalski. Ran right in the dome. Helm off the bench, intercepted at center by O'Coin. Then Helm knocked it down. Out there along with Danny Cleary. O'Coin pushed it forward. Shane Doan gets it in and he knocks Cleary down. Mike Babcock wants Danny Cleary to be more physical tonight and he could be seeing a lot of Shane Doan tonight and a Doan hit right there on Helm. And Helm was up among the Red Wing leaders in hits during the regular season. Into the Red Wing zone it is as Lombardi lost it. Jovanovski then knocked it down. Power play here in effect for Phoenix. Saved by Howard. Rebound all set high. And a diving play as Danny Cleary got over. Wow. An open net for Volsky. And Danny Cleary got a stick on it to keep this game without a goal. That was a sure goal without a doubt. Remember, Phoenix's power play went three for four. That was the story in game one. 28th ranked power play in the league in the regular season. Red Wing penalty killing had been superb until meeting Phoenix. In front of the net it goes and sent out and cleared down by Patrick Eves. He and Miller go to the bench. A quick change here as Franzen and Datsu come over and Bertuzzi, the expiration of his penalty. So both teams 0 for one man advantage, albeit shorter than each would have liked. Puck is down ice and this will be icing as Lilia is back to touch. Well. Pretty exciting here in the first couple of minutes right off the hop and look at this play by Dan. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Wide open and Dan Cleary with a second effort gets a piece of it. And it deflects off his, the blade of his stick and up over the crossbar. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Off the draw back to the line. Lilia held it in. Holmstrom being checked by Lapisto. Sammy Lapisto, number 18. Holmstrom trying to get away from him. Bronson spins back. Lapisto got in his path, but that suit pulled it back. Nice little feed to Lilia and a save by Brzgalov. And he'll hold on. I'll bet you they'll change this defensive pairing because that's a matchup that the Datsuk line can and should win. Well, you got to like it on both ends. The uh, pushing and shoving. Both teams ready to go for game two. This game is available in crystal clear high definition on Fox Sports Detroit HD, sponsored by Comcast. Well, you called that change. Yeah. That's not a matchup that Dave Tippett wants. That's his third defensive pairing against Detroit's number one line. No way. Off that draw, moving in on it was Peter Pruka with his checkmates, Rabata and Hansel. Long shot in that Howard deflects. Past Phil Pala off his body. Bertuzzi managed to get the puck to Henrik Zetterberg with Jovanovski closing on him. Pushes him back. Zabenek McCulloch is there. This will be another icing as Brad Stewart will pick it up. Now you get uh, uh, penalties like that in power plays right off the hop. You don't get a chance for people to get in. 
And this will be right now Abdul Kader's first shift to the game. Almost five minutes in because of the two power plays. Remember how huge his goals were in the Stanley Cup Finals? Game one against Pittsburgh, made a 3-1 wings, and then scored a 3-1 third period goal in game two. Did Justin Applicator. There's his first there hit. You go. There you go, right off the hop, kid. Getting the game early, another icing coming right here. What do you have, 150 by the end 100, of January 150, when he was sent down? 152 hits, I think, when he, when he gets sent down. Almost three a game in 50 games, so. He'll make them keep their heads up and reverse what was going on here the other night. Being a natural center, he'll take some draws. Drew Miller right. on a line with Draper last game didn't take any. Chris Draper took them. And this will also help, too, because Miller can move back to the wing. Don't have to worry about a center ice slot, which he doesn't play. Save made, oh. rebound! Oh, and just wide. A Draper nearly had one. Ablocator's got it. He's in for Jason Williams. That's the one change the Red Wings made tonight. Draper got knocked down. He, he didn't like on it on a stick. Phoenix changing on the fly. Erickson with a quick pass, and it's tipped in by Ablocator. Number eight for the Red Wings going in there and hits Derek Morris hard into the end boards. Long stretch pass to Dome. The captain of the Coyotes, his first playoff appearance as captain. Six years with the C on his sweater. And his first playoff for Dome. Miller got wiped shot. out. Miller got wiped out, didn't like it. There they go. They're going to look at the face, see? Right to right Miller's face. Oh, yeah. Polsky. Yep. And the referees will call two people, probably. Former first round pick of Colorado, Wojtek Wolski. No, they're not going to call anybody. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Well, he got in a free shot. That's for sure. Well, both teams will make changes. The bench is going back and forth. Chain Doan taking some chin music from the Detroit bench. Off the draw, scrambled. Grabbed there by Franzen. Got hit by Winnick. Korpakowski. Nokalainen. Forward line for the Coyotes against the Datsuk unit. With Franzen and Holmes. Franzen takes that puck and leaves it there for Cronwall. Knocked out of the air by Franzen. That was nearly a giveaway. Cronwall was hit by Nokalainen. Now moves up on the rush and he's got it. Head to Holmstrom. That shot was hurried and then went off a skate. And Phoenix will just lift one to neutral ice. Settled back there by Stewart. Moving one ahead for Pavel That's Into the zone and offside as he collided there with Thomas Holmstrom. We'll step out for a moment. Still looking for our first goal in this game from Glendale. I asked Shane Doan this morning about playing with Chris Draper and Kirk Maltby back in the World Championships. And he said, you know what? I liked not liking them. But then you play with them, well, you, you learn to like them. But now all that's aside, and what a game one Shane Doan had next. No kidding. He was a wrecking crew, for sure. Nine hits. Penalty on that one, got the elbows up, but uh, he's something to deal with. The Detroit's going to have to counter what he's been doing. you got to keep your head up, and that big boy's on the ice. And yeah, Dave Tippett said this morning, sure, he went 20 games without a goal, but we don't measure Shane's presence in just offense. More often than not, except this year he's a 20-goal scorer or more, but you can see the physical element he has to his game. Taylor Pyatt, former Vancouver Canuck, 12 goals in the season. Stepniak went looking for a hit. His stick is caught up in Rafalski as Howard holds it. Unintentional, and we saw the Vancouver game the other night. A stick got caught up in Daniel Sedin's Helmet, and this one got caught up in the skate. Brian Rafalski, good move. And they're continuing to uh, lay the body on the Detroit defenseman, boy. It's a long night, but you got to keep your head up. These guys running at you the way they are. Vernon Fiddler, just a moment ago, took a chunk of Zetterberg out there. That's what Detroit talked about doing, getting in and getting some pressure on the Phoenix defense and doing some hitting of their own. Here's Miller, up with Cleary and Helm. Miller back of the net. Stewart. 
Second whack at it. Another whack at it. Cleary spinning. See, Brzezgalov. And Doan has it. Cronwall moved in on him. Freed it up for Cleary. And Doan got enough just to lift his stick to send the shot wide. Stewart was hurried, and the puck goes up and out of play. And with that, the faceoff will come outside the line. And again, Polsky yeah, there you and go. Miller. See, they didn't get it last time, and again, they come at one another. Well, place a small deposit on 2010-11 Red Wings season ticket plan right now and enjoy current benefits like priority on this year's playoff tickets below box office prices. Call 313-396-7575. Operators are standing by. Ablocator out with Draper and Eves. Long shot in on Brzezgalov. Interesting that Helm and Eves played some 60 games together this season. You lose one game in the playoffs, you're split up. Abdul Gator's got three hits already. He's only had a couple of chips. That's just offside as Eves took it. He hadn't cleared the Phoenix zone yet. There's some nasty feelings going on down there. Detroit's responding to what happened the other night in here early. Abdul Gator just pounded 55 Jovanowski. He doesn't like, nobody likes to get hit. But they're going to keep their heads up. That kid running around like that. He's got three good hits right now already. And look for Cronwell to try to center number 19 Doan coming out like, like he hit uh, Havlet from Chicago last year coming up the blue line. Wow, they're calling that an intentional offside, so the faceoff comes all the way back. That's an interesting call. Red Wings hope this doesn't come back to haunt them. Being and, you, and you were talking about... <laughs> yeah. you, you were talking about the hitting aspect, and Chris Draper on that fourth line, he said Mike Babcock challenged us to be more yeah. physical tonight. Now we have to meet the challenge, because again, as you said off earlier, Bottom six for the Red Wings. Have to carry the play in the well, physical Well, the key department. to that, to start it out with, is you got to use your feet, and Draper can do that. Get your speed to get in on people. You can't hit them when you're not there to, to, to get a timely hit, and what are your way to do it? You're only going to hurt your team. This will be icing. As Rafalski's back to get that. Well, the Bernstein advantage once again brings you uh, the scouting report. And tonight on Justin Ablocator, the Muskegon, Michigan native. Rascal Flats he enjoys. Well, right up your alley there, Mick. There you go. What hockey players don't like pasta, right? Of course they do. And then series winning goal for Michigan State to send the Spartans to the Frozen Four Championship. Mike Babcock comes right back with the Abdulkader Draper Patrick Eves line. And uh, obviously Dave Tippett has no problem with that. He's going to leave his guys on the ice. That's the Czechoslovakian line. And they were pretty good in the second period the other night, dragging the puck in the offensive zone. And we say that the check line, and yes, they're checkers, and they're also very good offensively for Dave Tippett, who's carried the system he had from Dallas right over here. And it's worked so well. He's been the, the architect, as Dave said. Our, our players, when he came here late in training camp, and what a great job all Samuelson did to hold the team together, the players were just itching for somebody to give them a system as Chris Goloff holds on. And, their ears were open, he said. They were willing to listen. They were willing to learn because they said, hey, it's us against the world. Is this team moving? That was never brought up. They talked about it early in the season and then never again mentioned they just wanted a system in place and know how to win, and Dave Tippett gave them that. They've been flying under the radar, and it's about time that the blip showed up. They're too good. Yeah. And they're hoping nobody notices them, and then they're hoping to get the Stanley Cup final that way. Here comes Radim Brabata. Howard cut it down. And the puck to flex over top of the goal. And a right hand shot down the left wing. Good angle to the goal for Verbata. Kruka, that's blocked by Draper. Got it again. Lily got a stick in there. And Ablocator will carry to center ice. As his mates change, he shoots in. First back, Keith Yandel. What a game one he had in his first playoff game. Scored that goal. Led the Coyotes with 12 from the blue line during the regular season as the play goes offside. Second to only the Vancouver Canucks for blue line goals with 40. And that's not all they have. Even strength goals against defense, the key for Dave Tippett, as we said, save percentage third in the league, third best defense, fourth in wins, sure. 14 came by a shootout, 19 in all in extra time. A very good season for this Coyotes team, who next year could in fact be named either the Arizona Coyotes or the Glendale mm -hmm. Coyotes. May not be known as Phoenix, well, the Arizona Diamondbacks and the part of the sale may be a name change for a wider audience, they think. Arizona could be likely. 
But they've made a name this season for sure. Fiddler. Around for Lee Stepniak. Another one of these line matchups Detroit has got to win. Datsuk against the Fiddler line. Datsuk going to get the bouncing puck. Holmstrom heads to the goal. Datsuk waits for him. Rebound out front. But he skated past it and Franzen couldn't get there. Hyatt. Gets one into the zone as Lidstrom lifts his stick. And peeling off in a change is Phoenix. Rafalski. Datsuk wants to the bench, but he's got the puck right now. And now he'll head off. Lidstrom in his own zone. 237th playoff game for the Red Wing captain. Second to Chris Chelios. All-time Zetterberg back of the net. Net is off as Brzgalov made the save. And the faceoff will stay inside Phoenix territory as the Red Wings controlled the net. Well, they were able to get a whole line change while Lidstrom, Datsuk, and Rafalski fiddled around with the puck back at the other end. And then, don't you know, if they create a mini scoring chance right there, getting in on the Phoenix defense, just like they'd like to do. A little more of that. It'll go a long way. Sure would. Hendrik Zetterberg, six shots he had in game one. Rabata tipped it there to cover was Philpola. Cronwall's on that loose puck. Chipped it to the corner. Look out. And a break here brought to center by Peter Pruka with hands. Pruka gets held up. Then gets hit by Stewart for Bata to Hansel. The big body out front, turning with it. Saved by Howard. Oh, what a stop. They score. Up Howard and in. The Coyotes strike first. 10 23 in. Well, it's the big range of Hansel coming around the back of the net. You'll see him drive to the front, and then Yandel's going to come in from the from the blue line. And here's Hansel. See, there's nobody in this area at all at this point. But he comes right in behind two Red Wings there and chips it right into the top corner. And Detroit's got to turn over their shoulder and take a look and see who's coming there. Long shot. Howard saves off Morris. Well, Keith Yandel got one in game one. He's got one in game two. You're watching Red Wings Hockey on Fox Sports Detroit, presented by Bell Tire. It was early this season in a game at Columbus that Dave Tippett went to Keith Yandel and said, son, we need more from you. He went out that night and got three assists. He wound up leading his team in goals and points from the defense and was plus 16. Here's his goal in game number one. It was a big one, and Mickey's got another one tonight. Well, he jumped into the play very quickly when he saw it all develop here, and the Red Wings were kind of spread out. But they were all in the area, and he jumped in and was the first guy to get to the loose puck and just chipped it into the top corner. There's another save made by Howard. And Keith Yandel, he could have been on the U.S. Olympic team. They had those injuries. Remember all the defense were getting hurt? Paul Martin was hurt. Right. And the Boston native, they wanted Keith Yandel. However, he wasn't on the original list of 60 for Team USA, so they couldn't use him in the Olympics. But that's how much he progressed this year that they wanted him. And he's really an unsung hero. And you don't hear much about him because he's playing here in Phoenix. But a very good defense. Handel knocked it back in. Phoenix doesn't touch, so no offside. And as a result of that, though, it'll be icing unless Miller can get there. He did not, they say. As Yandel I got a piece of that puck, so that will be an icing coming back into the Red Wings zone. Detroit can't change. Phoenix can. And they like the way it started here, that's for sure. The big full house with lots of white jerseys on, T-shirts, whatever they are. Oh, we had the, the face painting. They had the white-out T-shirts that everyone had, although all those but Red Wing fans, they knew to come in red tonight in that sea of white. Painted with a little bit of red. That's a good thing. Miller across center didn't get it in. McCulloch knocked it back as the Red Wings are changing a break in. Fiddler dropped one back. Korpakoski's shot went wide. Ooh, Aaron Helms has gone down three times. Point we have a shot. High at the flick. Korpakoski goes after it and he's got it. 
Headed in back of the goal. Taylor Pyatt. Get to the corner by Helm. Now comes off again. He's got that big body like Hansel trying to drive the net. That goes off a leg. Draper's offside. Now tags up, and now he can go in after Jovanovski, who defers to Savinik McCullough. Slap back in by Ablocator. Moving up on it was Rafalski. Cleared ahead to Verbata. Catches up to it. Verbata on the backhand and a save, Howard. Lidstrom seals Verbata. Kruka with it, then gets hit by Ablocator. Doesn't miss the chance to throw the body. A quick line change here again for Detroit. 7.35 to go, first period. 1-0 Phoenix. On the end, a goal from Hansel and Verbata as we get a stop in play. The goal coming at 10.23. Darren Helms out right now testing his skate to try to figure out why he went down two or three times. Could be nothing more than a, a bad edge, and if that's the case, Paul Boyer will be taking care of him shortly. The way that kid flies, you've got to have a perfect sharpen on that blade. Rafalski will clear it in. Lepisto gets some help from Nokalainen on the near boards. Chipped it ahead to Daniel Winnick. Mori Karpakoski going in after it again. The native of Finland gets hit. Big stick flying up in the air. Rafalski goes and gets it. Turning with it is Pateri Nokalainen. Katsu got in front of Winnick. Holmstrom gets hit right in front of the Red Wing bench. Then Datsuk got knocked off stride. But Lidstrom has it left side. Waits here for the wings to get organized. Datsuk didn't like what he saw. He'll turn back. And the Coyotes will make a change on the fly as Lidstrom dumps one into the Red Wing offensive corner. Lepisto gets hit by Franzen. Moving up for Tuzzi. Back at center and settled there. Cronwall ahead Franzen and back to Stewart. Gains the line, Bertuzzi off the backboards. Zetterberg. In the corner, knocked off stride by O'Coin. And Matthew Lombardi moved it around for Lepisto. The defenseman can't get it out. Filpola, he went down two, and Cronwall with it at center. Into the middle, taken away by Shane Doan. And Cronwall took it back. Did a skate on the outlet try, goes and gets it again, and he's stopped. Oh, now Cronwall heads up ice. Stewart. Into the middle for Filpo. Back to Zetterberg. The shot just missed on the short side. Went stick side on Brzgalov. Side of the net. Banging way at it. And Brzgalov holds on. You're watching Red Wings playoff hockey on Fox Sports Detroit. one nothing Phoenix. Can't believe it. Canucks came back late to beat L.A. An extra time. So all the games so close. And tonight, Chicago Nashville tied 1 1 in the third. Chicago had the 1 0 lead in that game. Their series just starting. They're just in game one tonight. Long layoff for those two Western foes. You know, a two versus a seven seed seems to be the one where seven wins more often. Of late, Oka line in back of the net. Still with it in front. And I don't know if Howard got a piece of that, but quick shot. Too good a chance. Sure was. Noka Linen with it again over his stick, though. As Draper will shoot it in. Korpakoski just missed off the side of the goal. Howard, in fact, did not get a piece of that. Korpakoski not a noted goal scorer, which is five in the regular season. Loose pocket center, Miller. Saw the hit coming, but did get one back for Stewart. Brought back in by Radim Verbata. Shot deflected off a leg to the corner. Kruka and Miller. Verbata and Stewart. Out of that scrum. Comes Miller with the puck. He's got Cronwall moving. Gives him the puck. Chases it down. A pair of 55s in there. Oh, and Jovanovski just leveled Cronwall. Helm back of the net. Tied up by McCulloch. And again, Brzgalov able to hold it. Well, you know they like it here. 
and Jovanovski derails his counterpart 55. Not a bad hit, really looked a lot worse than it was. He had caught him off balance, that's why. Yes, he had to hit the elbows were high, but Conwell was low. Well, I have a moment I'd like to mention that the entire Red Wing family would like to wish a speedy recovery to Felix Gass. Felix, many years ago, was a Red Wing stick boy, close friend of Mr. Hockey, Gordie Howe, as well as many of us at the Wings. Our best wishes to Felix, his wife Rita, and their family. Faceoff coming up to the left. Ah, Brizgala. La Pisto. First on it, though, was Franzen. Back to Holmstrom. To the line, Lipstrom the shot, and Brzgala fought it off. Datsuk knocked it out of the air, but it goes to Dome. And off the wing, and a save by Howard. Brought ahead by Franzen. Franzen to the middle. Drop one back, here's Lipstrom in! And a save, Brzgala up with Thomas Holmstrom right there, tied up by Lepisto in front. Working through traffic is Doan, who clears it in deep. Both teams getting a change here. Knocked down by McCulloch and right back into the Red Wing end. Rafalski will reverse that. I don't think he wanted that. Well, although Phoenix came very close to playing that puck as Wolski had just missed it. A reminder to look for the Miller Lite Taste Greatness Moment coming up later during tonight's game. Shots are all even at 11. 316 to go in the period. Lovely fans here countering the Coyote chant. Lidstrom leaves it for Henrik Zetterberg. Bertuzzi dropped it off. Rolling puck, Coppola got it through, but they're offside. Faceoff coming up, Valtteri Coppola. I think Detroit here with 2.58 to go. You can see they've got a lot more urgency in their game than they had the other night. Although they're down one to nothing, that last scoring chance is a pretty darn good one by Lips. The four guys were up, and Lips joined the play. Well, they're a lot more competitive on the physical side tonight. Yeah, that's true, but they weren't bad the first 25 minutes. No, they weren't. Night. No. Until the goals, the power play goals, seemed to turn momentum, and uh, the Coyotes just kept up the hitting. The problem was they couldn't get enough pass for Skalov. And Stewart got it in. Let's go. Drop back for Pekoski. That went into the shin pads of Cronwall, but trailing is... Polsky and Howard held it out as he just held that post as the puck didn't get past him. This guy Volsky can get awful hot, boy. We've seen him do that in Colorado the last couple of years. One of those trade deadline acquisitions with a fourth round pick for Peter Mueller, who was concussed and gone so well with the Avalanche. And Kevin Porter, the former Wolverine, going to Colorado in the Volsky deal. 23 goals, 65 points this season. 18 points in 18 games coming over after the deadline to Phoenix. Sometimes you just need a change of scenery in yeah. the deal. Helm able to get it as Red Wings win an important defensive zone faceoff. Miller to the net and Brzgalov off the pads to the corner. Danny Cleary around to the other side. Rafalski goes after it. Pruka hits him. Rafalski stays with it. Along with Miller, back of the net. Giving it to Cleary. Cleary stays with it. Now Miller's got it. And now it goes to the Coyotes and brought out by Hansen. To Pruka. On his backhand, and Howard again. Assuredly holds on to that. Another faceoff, another defensive zone faceoff coming up. And Nick, this is where the Red Wings were not good in game one. Even no, though overall weren't. draws were, as we say, about 50 50 in the game, but defensively. Boy, oh boy. And that one, there was one right there that, even though there was some interference run on the winning goal, that Lombardi won that uh, 
face off cleanly from Henrik Jedeberg, and that ended up being the winning goal. Well, Red Wings control that one tonight. Red Wings 7 of 10 yeah. in defensive zone faceoffs. Much better job. Yeah. Datsuk without the helmet. Fanned on. And Cronwall goes back to get it. Cronwall has it come back to him again. There Datsuk. you go, Pavel. Get her going without the helmet on. Looks kid. like the old days. Mick yeah. likes that. There you go. Hard shot. Knocked down. Franzen couldn't get a clear shot away. Bats it down onto his stick. Franzen goes back to the line. Oh, a big screen in front as Holmstrom was all tied up. Kicked at by Franzen. Kicked out by Nokalainen. Franzen's got it again and back for Stewart. Holmstrom's revved up. He stays out there. Stewart in deep. Stays with that puck. Looked in front of the net. And there's a break here. Oh, oh you got to be kidding right me. And they're gonna you got to be slap. kidding me. Oh, my God. That is about the end all that I've seen in the NHL. No, it's not. Oh, come on. The guy can't hold on to a stick. Are you nuts? I oh think Brad's with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Unbelievable. Well, they'll just have to kill it off. You know, sometimes a referee has got to use his common sense and say, I know you slash down, touch him over your shoulder, you break a guy's stick. We're calling that, but that was almost a side hit. Well, he had and one the guy had one hand on the stick, on, the stick on top of that. But they have been calling that most of the year. Yandel. Coyotes have great shots from that point. Good block there by Helm. Mark Babcock saying that too. Wings want to do Slashing. a better job of getting <laughs> oh, at the point, not to allow those shots coming through. Five points from the Coyote defense last game. We've got one tonight too. Goes back to Yandel, who's got the goal, put it in front off the skate of Olski. Derek Morris. He had one of the goals in game one. Game winning goal in the power play. 25 seconds to go in the period. Back to get it goes Yandel. Gives off to Matthew Lombardi. Back to a coin on to Lombardi. Taken away by Cleary. And that'll do well, it. We're going to sell a pretty good period of hockey here. One nothing for Phoenix. And uh, the Red Wings uh, certainly weren't without the chances as the Horn will go. And we'll have an important one minute to kill off here to get second period going. But. Uh, a much better Red Wing effort here tonight. On the physical side, they're jumping in, getting some hits offensively, getting some scoring chances. Pretty good hockey game. I, I don't think they're too unhappy other than being down, but uh, they can handle that. Let's give you an update from out of town late in the third period. After being down 1 0, Nashville has scored a couple. JP Dumont with both their goals. I'll tell you, that 2 7 seed, unbelievable. 8 1 on both sides for beaten. And uh, just an applicator for coming back up to the Red Wings. Oh, you know he gets to speak with John. Let's get uh, Justin all set. It's got to be gratifying to be told by your team and your head coach that they need your physical presence. Yeah, How nice. much a part of the first period did you feel you were? You know, it was nice. We got some good shifts out there, I thought. And uh, it was nice to get uh, consecutive shifts there for a while. And uh, we just got to keep grinding away and uh, getting pucks on that. We're going to take a peek at uh, a little bit of your action to the first period. What's your energy level jumping into a playoff series that's already underway? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I felt pretty good out there. Um, you know, obviously playing off adrenaline uh, the first few shifts, but uh, you know, I felt good. Obviously, uh, you can't do anything to get game-like simulations, uh, you know, with your legs and, and your wind, but it's it's come along and had some had some good shifts, and hopefully we can build off those. You watched your team play game one. How much more physical did you think your team was here in game two? I thought it was a lot better. Um, you know, they obviously they were running around game one, uh, especially to start off. So, you know, we just got to be physical back and, uh, you know, keep getting pucks on, on that and uh, hold on to them, don't know. What was your team's sense of calm before game two tonight? 
Uh, you know, just, you know, guys, guys have been there and, you know, it, it was just one game. So uh, take it one game at a time and, uh, you know, we, we know it's going to be a series. So you know, we've got to bring it every night. Abby, thanks for your time. Good luck the rest of the way. Thanks. Justin Abdelkader and the Wings down one nothing to the Coyotes in game two here in Glendale. From here to Mickey York in the Call Sam Studios. Mick. All right, John, thank you very much. And with Abdelkader, we expected a more physical effort from the Wings in that first period. And coming up during the intermission updates, we'll show you the punch stats through one. But up next, your first period highlights. 20 minutes into game two, Keith Yandel and the Coyotes have drawn first blood. We'll be right back. Go, go. Here at Jobbing.com Arena, Red Wing fans, yes, they are in full force. As we know, Hockey Town, no limits. No limit on goal scoring either, we hope. If a Detroit player gets a hat trick tonight, bring in a copy of that summer to Arby's tomorrow and get a free order of curly fries. Brad Stewart is 23 seconds remaining, or 101 remaining in his penalty. So the Red Wings shorthanded to start period two. Jimmy Howard faced 13 first period shots, as did Ilya Brzgalov. Well, outside of being down one to nothing, I don't think Detroit's unhappy with their first period. They didn't get as much as they'd like in the four check with pressure, but they got more than they got the other night. I think Abdul Kader in the lineup made a difference. He had, I didn't see the sheet, but we have three, four hits. We didn't get a sheet here yet. But we'll get that shortly as we get underway here in period number two, Ken. Thank you, Mick. And brought to center ice and into the Red Wing zone. Cronwall knocked it back into the corner. Helm skating it into Phoenix territory. You have an update on those hits? Three hits for Abigail. Okay. Edwin, first two shifts, actually. Fired the length of the ice with a half minute left in Stewart's minor. On the carryover, Yandel, who's got the goal in this game, his second of this postseason, gives to Matthew Lombardi at a big game one. The former Calgary Flame to center. And offside. As Doan couldn't hold the line. Well, let's bring you some scores from out of town tonight. The Devils, even in their series, Pittsburgh, even in theirs, and Ottawa scored in their first shot. How about Nashville upending Chicago 1 0 in game one? A 7 over a 2 again, and the 8 1s on both sides in game one, and Colorado with the advantage. Can you hear the boos from here in San Jose? I think maybe you can. And that is the first Predators road win in playoff history. What's that, 1 in 12 now? If I'm not mistaken, you that's the first road playoff victory in their history. An understatement to say few and far between. Right? Yeah, oh yeah. Bouncing down to the corner. Well, they finally have a, a different opponent other than San Jose and Detroit. Cleary with it as the Red Wings at full strength and Stewart will join the rush. Turned back at the line, and now Stewart and Cleary, they'll go off in Miller, too. Erickson gets it ahead for Henrik Zetterberg. It's chipped in deep. Filppula going after it along with Bertuzzi. Filppula got the angle on Jovanovski, but went down. Zetterberg tried to get it in front. Pruka there to knock it away. Loose puck. Bertuzzi got a stick in there. Sent it toward the net. Kick back in front. Zetterberg had it knocked off his stick. Good defensive play by Pruka. Back to the point. He dives in front of one, gets around him. In front of the goal, loose puck in just wide. Coppola with it one more time. And over Lilia sticking out the center. Bad bounce. Quick pass for Falski right through the middle. Here comes Edward busting in, and a nice defensive play by Morris. Bertuzzi tried to put it back in front. Oh, that was O'Coin who got back on that play. And that is up and out of play. That was off coming back to center ice. Very, very good defensive play by O'Coin right there. It'll never make the box score, but Henrik Zetterberg didn't realize until the last second that he had a clear lane to the net. Look at this setup here. He comes back, just reaches across, doesn't take a penalty, and knocks the puck into the corner. Holmstrom has it in his skates. Brought right back by Vernon Fiddler. Fiddler to the net. Saved by Howard. Datsu clears the rebound. Hyatt got it to Stepniak. And he was pestered enough by Franzen and Lidstrom. 
Lidstrom ties up his man back of the net. That's who poked it free. Look at that move. And then he lost it. Had his own pocket picked, but got back to cover Pyatt, who sent one high and off the glass. Knocked down and cleared ahead for Holmstrom. Coughed up at center. Pyatt forced deep into his own zone. Former New York Islanders. Eighth overall pick. Back in 99, Taylor Pyatt. Erickson to the middle. Backhand shot, Eves. Got it again in front off the skate of Advocator. And held by Brzgolov. As the Red Wings crash the net, Draper going in. Well, not very often does Pavel Datsuk get stripped to the puck. He does here, though. He gets it first, makes a nice move, but it's a good job by Pyatt to jump on his high horse once he lost it and come back and get it back. Both, both ends with a couple of good scoring chances. Datsuk, the league leader in takeaways with 132 during the regular season, led the Red Wings goals with 27, tied with Zetterberg in points with 70. Fifth straight year, he's either let alone or tied for the team lead in points for Pavel Datsuk. He did it made it up, Howard holds it. A, late, a quick change right off the hop, and they got Cleary line. They want to get them against Doan. And again, Dave Tippett is happy with that, so it's out to Dan Cleary. And his guys to take care of the Doan line with Fiddler. Off the draw, it comes back for Yandel. Derek Morris moved in. Howard blocked that with the glove. They kick at it, back of the net. They went for Yandel, threw it off the boards. He got it from Doan. Goes down low with it. Lombardi in front, Stewart knocked it away. Helm, back for Howard, he'll scoop it along. Miller took a peek and just wrapped it out to center ice. Derek Morris will shoot it right back in. Phoenix tags up and goes in after it on the forecheck. Ron Wall to Miller. That's one way to beat the forecheck with a good first pass. These two guys in that one. And, but the Red Wings go offside on a bouncing puck again. We've seen a lot of that tonight. A lot of players going down on their edges tonight. And the Red Wings said game one, the ice was not great. It has been. teams in the National Hockey League since the Olympic break. The Red Wings with a loss in game one, 16-4-2 since the first of March. And the Coyotes 14-4-2 with their win in game one. Eves hit by Jovanovski. Adrian O'Coin. Back for Jovanovski. Eves takes it at center. Back in, but quickly out. Jovanovski ahead for Terry Nokalainen. Erickson with a pass ahead that was behind Eves. Heath Yandel first back to get it. Tipped in by Nokalainen. Coyotes change, so some time here for Lilly. That pass failed to click with Bertuzzi. Derek Morris off the boards, back to center. Lilly one more time, and in deep. Gallop did a good job to knock that down for Yandel. Morris, under the stick of Hansel to Pruka. Into the left wing offensive corner where Stewart will backhand one to Cronwall. Quickly again, the Red Wings moving it smartly to center, but can keep control. And you called it, Mr. Jeez. Referee. The no brainer from up here. Hansel, much, much bigger than Zetterberg. Thank you very much, Ref, for catching what everybody else knew was going to happen. Jeez. Watch him make the pass. Then here, the guy without the puck. Go ahead, guys, roll it. Wipes him out. Oh, uh, well, we get the call. Isn't that interesting? For well, a few that's gone to Detroit play in five periods and change. I think it's four and change. Not a smart play for Hansel, 140 feet from your net. No, not really. Uh, he really didn't have to do it. That's the thing. He had both defensemen back. It wasn't a, not a life and death play. So Red Wings on a bell tire power play, but it's Daniel Winnick. Outside. And offside is Vernon Fiddler. A former Nashville Predator, whose team beat Chicago tonight. Good penalty killer. 
with 11 goals each of the past two years prior to this year when he had eight. And a, as an unrestricted free agent, good signing for Nashville. One of those third line guys fits in very nicely. Yeah, he plays with some grit and gives you all he's got. Detroit 47 percent in the faceoff in the first period. They need to be better than that. They just lost two in a row here while they're on the power play. And that's going to kill probably 30 seconds of extra man time. Well, the Red Wings power play goes to work. It was ninth best during the regular season. One for six in game one. Datsuk to Holmstrom. Rafalski. Back for Datsuk. Holmstrom trying to get space in front. Datsuk was hurried by Winnick and it shoved off his stick and down by Jovanovski. Phoenix penalty killing. Five for six in game one, obviously, and six in the penalty kill during the regular season. Penalty kill much better than their power play. Not that you'd know it from this series thus far. Ooh. In front, they tried the pass for Rafalski. Did that suit didn't work. Well, you got to give Phoenix credit for defending like that. Great trying all their stuff, but uh, the Coyotes have got an answer for all of it so far. Six and a half gone here in the period. Topol in front, they score! Henrik Sederberg on the Red Wings' first shot of period two. They tie it up 1-1. It's a power play goal. Well, this play really started back at center ice with Nicholas Cronwall. And it's a nice give and go here. Zetterberg going to the net. Here's Cronwall making the play here. He drops the puck right there to Zetterberg. Zetterberg hits. He, hold it there, guys. These guys are standing still. You've caught them with that pass right there. Let her go. And Zetterberg then heads for the front of the net here. Boom, boom, 1-1. One, one. Just like that. Perfect execution. No chance for the big guy, Briskalov. That pass caught two people. The fake shot by 50. One Filpola, and we're tied at one. 6.27, the time of that power play goal. Wow. As the Red Wings back on even terms, Wolski puts it into the corner. Reverse of last night. The Red Wings had the lead and Phoenix tied it. And Detroit did lead 2-1 after one last night. Cronwall getting the other assist. Handle. Long shot. Howard easy save. Left for Cronwall. Mishandled though. They score! Oh, the Red Wings gave him that one. And Volsky buried it. Well, this one's gift wrapped. Nothing but a dump in. Oh, boy. Looks like miscommunication between Jim Howard and Nicholas Cronwall. And Wojtek Polski is the recipient of a gift. And Phoenix is up on top that easily. That puck never lied flat. They hurt. Never laid flat. Bouncer. From Howard to Cronwall to Volsky, he batted out of the air. I guess in retrospect, you look at the replay, Jimmy's got to freeze that puck. You got, you got red jerseys in the area, freeze it. He caught it and then released it to uh, Cronwall. But bad bounce, he couldn't handle it, and we're down 2 1. And bad communication. There's a bouncer for Briskalov. Then he'll hold on. You gotta wonder whether Cronwell was expecting that, that puck or not from Jim Howard. He may not have been expecting it. We'll be back. Two to one. Except for those in red for the Red Wings, it's a whiteout here in Phoenix. It's a tradition that began in 1987. In fact, for this franchise, when they were in Winnipeg as the Jets, this was their last time they advanced past round one when they beat the Calgary Flames. Oh, Randy Carlisle Randy right Carlisle. there now, coaching yeah. the Anaheim Ducks. And they were in white then, and this was time to celebrate again. They're Last time they've advanced past round one, and this is when the whiteout began. And the tradition is carried on here, but I still think that the home team should be in white, though. Well, they've switched that back and forth yeah. two or three times over the years. Back then they were. It made more sense. Watch out for uh, Detroit needs to really watch out now for momentum that uh, Phoenix is going to be trying to break this baby wide open after that bad bounce for Detroit and a go-ahead goal. Here's a break, maybe. Filpola can't get through Jovanovski. Those goals came 38 seconds after the Red Wings tied it. Phoenix untied it. Stepniak. 
14 goals in 18 games as a Coyote after the trade deadline. From Toronto, Datsuk. Backhander, his countryman stopped it. To the line for Erickson. And Brzgalov stopped that too. Ooh, that hit LaRue. That hit him in the head. The referee got hit down there, and then the puck is up and out of play. Well, John Keating had David McLean, who now works for the Phoenix Coyotes in our pregame show, along with his father, Paul. And Paul remembers all too well his time with the Whiteout in Winnipeg. 1988, so uh, one year there, two with the Whiteout. Right off the draw, back it goes to Rafalski, put it wide. Holmstrom and Lapisto. Holmstrom to Franzen. Tatsuk in front, scores! Top shelf, what a pass! Holmstrom and the Datsukian one roof that. And it's a 2-2 tie. This is the mismatch defensively I've been talking about since the first period. Lapisto and O'Coin. O'Coin shaking his head. How in the heck did Datsuk get his stick on the puck? He's all over him like a blanket. Look at this in front of the net here. Oh, that's unbelievable. And O'Coin just going, I don't know how he did it. Yes, it was a beautiful pass. Oh, it was Franzen who threw it. Yeah, Franzen in the back of yeah. yeah. And without taking a penalty, O'Coin's wonder what else can I do? The Pavel Datsu gets his first of the playoffs, and that's a big comeback goal for Detroit. Pavel Datsu now has a 12-game scoring streak against the Phoenix Coyotes. Had an assist in game number one. He's got a goal in game two as the Red Wings... Big guns have come through tonight. Zetterberg and Datsu. 2-2 tie. As Helm shot the flex to the corner. Well, this is a, an exact reversal of what happened in game one. Yeah, right. And the way the scoring has gone. Here's Lombardi in. Scores! No, oh, no, not again. Quickly, one more time, 3-2 Phoenix. Boy, Lombardi really showed his speed up the middle there. What a nice move on the goaltender. Shane Dome with a beautiful little pass, and Miller's not able to handle him. Quick little move, and just like that, another one goal lead. Wow. What a comeback. So 48 now, seconds so, between goals previously, 49 seconds between these two. Something happened down there, at, and I think the Coyotes had about seven guys on the ice at the time. They were trying to make a change. And Babcock's looking at it like, like it was a, a joke. Not that he's down 3-2, but why they didn't make a call. Oh, 49 seconds apart this time. Lombardi from Dome at 9.09. So oh, it's 3-2 as Wolski gets the second assist. Tap the head and Eve's going after it. Going to Ablocator to the goal. And he ran out of room. Becoming a scoring press now. Lilia put it back in off the dasher. And cleared the right to Howard. As Phoenix and the Red Wings both change on the fly. Off the skate, the pistol to center. Stepniak threw it deep. Into He's Detroit territory, that. first in is Fiddler, hit there by Stewart. Back of the goal, Pyatt, puck squirts free, punched away by Howard. Jonathan Erickson, pass up the middle to Bertuzzi. Hit to the ice by Jovanovski. But Fimple is right in, scores! Valtteri Fimple, what a night! It's a 3-3 tie halfway through the game. Get out the board. 
They're going in from everywhere. <laughs> Here, Dad Jovanowski loses a position, runs out of position, really, to hit Todd Bertuzzi. Great nice pass, pass. Erickson. Erickson up the middle. Here's Jovanowski in the big hit. But here comes 51 Felpola down the outside. And he's got the angle on the defender. When you're a defenseman like that, you either got to have a winger coming back or your defensive partner with you or stuff like this happens. So Ed Jovanowski jumping up to make a hit gets burned. And Felpola ties it again. Woo. So Phoenix has three in game one. The Red Wings get that important third one here tonight. Bertuzzi getting one assist. That came 116 after the Coyote goal. That slapped away. Phoenix loses it. Franz into the goal and over Holmstrom's stick. Lapisto hits Franz. Finn on a Swede. Datsuk. He's hooked. Keeps going. And Franzen couldn't get to the puck. Datsuk with the errant stick in there. As the Coyotes lose theirs, Datsuk in a crowd. That won't matter. Look at the work. Finally lost it. Lidstrom back to recover. Datsuk's got it one more time. Through one and another. Off the Holmstrom to the net. Locker to side. Lidstrom shooting. Stopped by Berzgala. Handled by Hansen. Plays it back for O'Coin. The pistol hurry. Here's a break. They give it up. Rafalski to the middle. Bertuzzi wants it. He's got it. And he missed it. Rebound. Oh, what a stop off Filpilov by Briskolov. To the line. Cronwall. Bertuzzi couldn't find it. They give it away again. Zetterberg shooting. That hits the leg and goes off to the corner. Filpilov first. Open. Cronwall shoots. Knocked down. Zetterberg going after it again. Back to Cronwall. Deflected in front, and Bertuzzi couldn't bury that. Desperately cleared to the line. Held in front of the goal, and Bertuzzi chopped that knock down. Coyotes can't get out of their zone until now. There's Shane Doan. Delays to the middle. McCulloch sent one high and over top of the goal. In front of the net. Knocked to the corner for Cleary. What a period. Five goals in under four minutes. Five goals in three minutes, 58 seconds, and nearly had more. Bertuzzi and Doan together. Bertuzzi shoots in. In goes Helm. Jovanovski first. Helm hits him. Clear to center for Miller. Miller right back in. He's held by Volsky and then knocked down. Helm hits Winnick. Puck in the corner. First on McCulloch. Pinching in goes Erickson. Erickson with a great move. Long reach and off the side of the goal. Helm picks it up. Back in for Miller. He's got Draper with him. Gives him the puck. Back of the net. In front for Miller. Can't find the handle on it. And Noka Linens is enough of this, but didn't get it out. Lilia, that one off. Miller in front. And Jovanovski gets it. It'll go right to Howard. Dangerously close. No ice. Lead pass, Eves. But Draper had a hold up at the line, so it wasn't offside. Yandel. And as the Coyotes under siege here in the period. Red Wings with the edge in shots now. 25-19, 26-19 now. Puck is cleared in deep for Nokalainen. Put it in front. Back to the line, they hold it in. Fiddler. Back to the point, Yandel. He shoots, and that stopped, and up and out of play. Well, we'll take a breath for a moment. I think we need a breather. What a game. You're watching Red Wings Playoff Hockey presented by Beltire. Well, to think it was 1-0 after one for Phoenix. Well, what Detroit has tonight they didn't have the other night was a lot of pushback. That's very obvious. And they're giving uh, Phoenix all they can handle right now. They're getting lots of pressure. Offensively, they're laying the body on Phoenix, and they're starting to look around a little bit. Much like Detroit was in game one. Let's see if it continues to pay off. Zetterberg, Datsuk, and Philpola with the Red Wing goals. Game two of this best of seven. And game three, Sunday afternoon, Joe Louis Arena at three. Or 320.
or thereabouts. And then we'll have game four for you from Joe Lewis Arena, 6.30. If you're heading to the Joe, 6 o'clock, Red Wings Live pregame Tuesday night. So it's an early start for game four right here on Fox Sports Detroit at 6 o'clock with the pregame show with Mickey and Larry and John Keating, yours truly, Ken Daniels, Mickey Redmond, and our whole crew. That's soup. Around the pistol. To the line to Lidstrom. Pulls back and went for Datsuk on a he deflection. Did. He went back to him. Stepniak will shoot it in. Lidstrom took a hit from Stepniak and then Hitler finished on Rafalski. He knocks it out of the air and leads the attack to Lidstrom. To Datsuk. Skate the stick. Holmstrom to the net. There's Lidstrom wide open. Right in off the side of the goal. He missed off the left wing short side. Rafalski, he sent it off the backboards. Holmstrom going after the puck. Adrian O'Coin into the skates. It's turned over. Franzen, it's blocked in front. Franzen couldn't get that puck through, and it's cleared by Phoenix. Good defensive play by Lapisto. Good sign, though, for Red Wing fans that you got Datsuk and Franzen coming alive here big time. minutes to go here in period number two. Coppola clears it ahead. Clears it ahead. Goes in after it. He's got the equalizer here. They jam up there. Coppola has got it. Turning around in front. Comes back to the line for Lilia. Zetterberg. Erickson down low. Bertuzzi. Cleared it in front. Zetterberg able to knock down a bouncing puck away from Verbata in front of the net. Comes back to the line. Lilly has got it. Waited a little too long. And a bouncing puck is grabbed and carried ahead by Pruka. With a move. Right in. Oh, Jimmy Howard stopped that. Pruka in front of the net. Oh, and Lilly has stopped that. As Pruka set up Verbata. That's got him buzzing. <laughs> Oh my. Unbelievable. <laughs> and as you often say, too many chances that are too good. Yeah, right. It shouldn't be. Well, both teams are getting them this time. Yes. That's cleared in. Howard says, okay, I'll hold on to this. 3.44 to go, second period. 3 3 tie. Red Wings playoff hockey on Fox Sports Detroit. Well, yeah, freezer wild. It's been wild. We understand we're having some technical problems. We're working on them, so thank you for staying with us. We'll get those rectified. And uh, some close chance to both ends, Mick. Yeah, Nick Lipscomb here on this one just ran out of real estate. He had nowhere to go. Bad angle, and they were closing him down here, so he just tried to put it through the big guy, but wasn't going to be there. And then Jimmy Howard on the verbata that made the move. Playing the body and the puck. Look out there, Ruka. The Czechoslovakian gang, they're dangerous, boy, if you don't play the body on them. You can't play the puck like Jonathan Erickson just tried to do. Well, Nick Lidstrom had a goal in game one, 49th playoff goal. That's second among all active players in these this postseason. Mark Recchi scored the other night to give him 51. He's first. Well, I'll be at the Joe this Tuesday for game four of this series against the Coyotes. And once again, please note the early start time of 630. You can get your tickets right now by calling 313-396-7575. Operators are standing by for tickets for game four. One of our guys on the crew, Doug Holslander, wanted to say hello to his cousins, Dan and Lisa Sargent, back in Rockford, Michigan, watching tonight on Fox Sports Detroit. 344 to go. Second period. Coyotes won their first ever playoff game in this building. In game one, Red Wings looking to go home with a split. And I know they say every game is huge, and it's not a must win in any series until you're facing elimination, I suppose. But games two are big. And this one certainly is I'm living up to it. Red Wings answering the bell tonight. It's underneath that suit. And they'll say the faceoff will stay inside the Phoenix zone. This has been an absolute furious second period. Unbelievable. 
Well, one thing about the Coyotes, they, they've managed to hang around all year in games, and the Red Wings know that all too well from the late January game at the Joe. Phoenix was down by two with 130 left and won it in overtime, and that spurred them onto a six-game winning streak. Well, I think they're, they're seeing, really, for the first time in a critical situation what the Detroit Red Wings are made of here tonight. Yeah. Lots of pushback tonight. Helm for Cleary in the corner. Keeps control of the puck. Knocked it out of the air, got it back. Helm heads to the net. And that deflected off a Coyote up into the netting. So the faceoff will stay inside Phoenix territory and make a line change right away too. You grind it out like that, wears you down. Well, these Phoenix Coyotes, what they've done since moving to the desert in 1996, and as we said, the last time they've been out of first round anywhere was against the Flames in '87, and here's their history here in first playoff since '02. Red Wings who lost game one the first in ten game ones of any series that the Red Wings did lose. The Red Wings have won six of the past nine series in which they have dropped a game one so history on their side. Filpo lost it off his stick for Bata. Took a hit as he got Cronwald. Here comes Pruka in and a save. By Howard. Zetterberg couldn't get a handle on it. Cleared back in. He's a puck. You need a broom to handle that puck now. You do. Jeez. It makes it really dangerous when you're around your net. Well, Jimmy Howard at Cronwall found that out. The puck never stopped bouncing. Well, that was a bad handoff. Eves couldn't get it across. Then he's checked. Kuka. Cleared in by Nokalainen. Daniel Winnick and Erickson came together. Applicator's got it. Trying to get away from Nokalainen. He will. Regain control of it. Derek Morris kicked it back into his own zone. And Draper went to punish him with a hit. And then they check finish by Applicator. And he missed Draper with it. Goes right to Nokalainen. Here's Winnick up the middle. And he can't get through as Rafalski takes it. Lead pass went off Eves. Mikulski got in the way of another pass. Lee Stepniak back into Red Wing territory. Erickson couldn't contain him. Fiddler. Mikulski did well to stay in front of him as Ablocator. Gets it to center. Eves will knock one down into the Phoenix hand. Minute to go here in period number two. Long stretch pass didn't work for the Coyotes. Cronwall to Datsu. Quick feed in. Franzen stops, shoots, just missed short side. Lee Stepniak, perfect feed to Taylor Pyatt. Datsu back on him. Did enough just to pester him to help him lose him. Stewart. Back for Cronwall. Ahead to Franzen. Into Datsu. Smoothly into Phoenix zone. Pulls back, shoots, block. And cleared by O'Coin. That's who got it again. Turning with it. And Cronwall going. He'll beat Wojtek Polsky, go. but Lombardi trailing has it to the middle. And a shot sent high and over top by Doan. We can smell that coming. Dozen seconds to go in the period. Franzen to Cleary. To the boards he's ridden by O'Coin. Polsky. Popped it up with the line. Rafalski went wide of the net. And the second period comes to its conclusion. Finishes in a 3-3 tie. Five goals in this period in a span of three minutes and 58 seconds. Well, they're loving what they're seeing here. Lots of excitement because of those five goals and back and forth. Holy mackerel. As good as it gets for a playoff game. It's supposed to be tight, but not that period. The Red Wings, lots of pushback in this game. And it's paying dividends for them. And the... Uh, in a pretty good position, I'd say, going into this third period with Phoenix looking like, wow, where do they come from? We didn't see that on Wednesday night. Red Wings with the edge and shots, 26-22 after two, and we'll send it to our Call Sam Studios, Mickey York.
All right, Kenny, thank you very much. So much for a low scoring play at close to the Vest hockey game. Current up during, coming up during this second intermission, Larry Murphy will join us to examine the second period of play. That could take a while. We'll bring you all the stats and the highlights as well. After a wild second period, the Wings and Coyotes are tied at three. More from jobbing.com and the Call Sam Studios right after this. Welcome back as we get set to start period number three. The Red Wings do have some history percentage wise on their side. A team down 0-1 should they win game two in a best of seven series goes on to win the series 53.1 percent of the time. So the Red Wings better than 50 percent if they can win this game here tonight. Speaking of percentages Pavel Datsup leading our McDonald's player of the game voting presented by Deluxe Angus third pounder. Here's how the voting is going. Justin Ablocator leading the Red Wings with five hits tonight. In second, and then Henrik Zetterberg. Pavel Datsuk got a 12-game point streak going now against the Coyotes. Four shots tonight with his goal. And 63% on faceoffs, the best Red Wing tonight. Well, the Red Wings have out hit Phoenix over 40 minutes, 26 to 20. Well, already that's a big turnaround from the other night. It was 43-20 for the home team. Set over with a long stretch pass and overskated by Bertuzzi. And then he's offside and Filippola doesn't realize it yet. Now he does. Well, the faceoff will come back to center ice area. And wild second period. Now Terry Filippola has got the equalizing goal. His First of the postseason, third of this game. He's got, he's got a coach. He's got to like the uh, the line changes he's made tonight, and how they're pushing back so far with this wild crowd on behind the team in red. We were pretty much standing for most of that. Yeah. Second period. Sure were. And the Red Wing fans here are really well represented. 17,000 plus another sellout crowd. They sold out the last four games of the regular season in this building. Off the glass, knocked to the corner by Howard. Pruka taken there by Lidstrom. Pavel Datsuk enjoys this building to Holmstrom. Played it back, goes off his skate. Now Lidstrom will have to go into the corner to get it. Holmstrom to center. Couldn't get the pass to work with Datsuk. Adrian O'Coin. His pass didn't work and icing waved off. Mm. So Lidstrom goes back to pick it up. And the Red Wings complete a change. Perfect feed onto Miller. Cleary to the net. Hits him. Cleary goes and picks it up. Great feed, Cronwall. Great opportunity there for Cronwall. Bounces off a leg, and the Red Wings control back at center. Helm can't get in first try. Erickson to the near boards. Tap back to center by Morris. Helm reaching in, he's got the puck into the Coyote zone. Couldn't get a shot. Miller, oh, he didn't know how much room he had to go to the net. Miller in the corner then lost it got all tangled up with Chris Lee the referee down there or Chris Rooney right back of the net going for it is Draper pulls off Bolsky pucks underneath and Draper still mixing it up Ablocator steals oh. it scores oh. Justin Ablocator 
Does he score big playoff goals or what? He scored his first two in the final against Pittsburgh, and he's got a huge one in the game here tonight. Wow. What a shot by Applicator with Draper all hooked up in a corner with Yandel. He did a good job of tying up Yandel, didn't he? Well. They were calling a penalty on that play. He steals the puck. When games we've been seeing, it's when the goaltender goes to poke check and misses like that, he's in no man's land. Watch the little hook right here by Abdicator. That hook is lots of times called in the game that frustrates the heck out of me, as you know. But here it doesn't happen. This two-handed slash there is the goal. Now, there is a penalty. There's not a penalty. No, there's not. I, I think that was, was. going to be delayed there on Yandel in the corner. So wiped out, goal scored. And back at center. Oh, Ablocator with the big goal. Back in come the Coyotes win it. Oh, and a save by Howard. And now the goals have come quickly, one after another tonight. That's a big stop by the Red Wing netminder. Cronwall. To center and in. Clary and Jovanovski picked up by Eves. Clary in to help second man on the puck. Winnick trying to lift his stick. Cleary protects. Great feed. Lilia takes from Erickson to the goal. And tip as Eves try to get a piece of that. Long reach, Erickson. Couldn't hold it in. Then knocked off a stick, and it comes to Zvenik Mahalik. Mahalik with a long shot in. Rims around. Lilia knocks it down. He'll skate it ahead. He's got Zetterberg. Ahead to Filpola. Into the glove of Briscala. Well, this crowd uh, trying to cheer the home team on the first time tonight for sure that they, uh, they've been behind. And holy mackerel, what a way for them to get behind. Justin Abdelkader scored as pretty a goal as you want to see. And probably his most spectacular goal that he's ever scored, including the two in the finals last year. Wow. Well, his parents, Joe and Cheryl, are up late watching this one. You know they are. Well, his family back in Muskegon. You know Joe's Half not sitting Muskegon. down either. Half of Muskegon is watching. Yeah. Maybe all. But, I mean, you talk about a guy that comes into a lineup and you, you hope he gives you a lift. A lift. Holy smoke. Games one and two in the final. He scores the big goals against Pittsburgh. Zetterberg with a shot in. That'll be held by Brzgalov. And an applicator in the lineup as they made the change to get more physical and took Jason Williams out. Justin Applicator comes in and had a good season in Grand Rapids. Well, the first line minutes. The most important thing, you're right. First line minutes, played at least 20 minutes a night on average. And, you know, up here he's playing seven, eight minutes. But he keeps doing things like this. He's going to be leaving seven or eight minutes a game long behind. Mm -hmm. Controlled on the faceoff by Detroit. Holmstrom in his office. Franzen couldn't get it there, though. Stepniak. Knocked off the stick of Fiddler. Cleared ahead for Fiddler. Franzen all over him. Bounces back to Holmstrom. Fiddler is hurt as he goes slowly into the Nashville oh bench, and there's a penalty. Oh boy. And that was an easy one to call as Franzen's going to go to the box. Yeah, the pistol was dumped. Stick was there. Not what you wanted, that's for sure. Then he reached the stick in there. Yeah, that's far too easy. No argument there. So, it's early in the third period. 15-32 left. Red Wings up by a goal, and the Coyotes are going to the power play. 0 for 2 tonight, they are. After that great success in game one, three for four, what success they've had against the Red Wings. See those numbers. Yano can't shoot it. Bolsky, look for a tip. Morris, he'll fire one that Howard stops. You can't give these Coyote defensemen room to shoot. Well, it's fashionable today to everybody bunch around the hash marks and leave the shot from the defenseman. They don't, you know, like my day, they uh, you had to cover the points. Not anymore. They Red, give the point man the shot. Red Wings had their 
Special team meetings this morning. They did make some adjustments. The head coach said on their penalty kill and their power play. Yandel back at center. Not one of the Phoenix goals tonight. As does Lombardi. He shoots it in. Weird bounce. Lombardi again. Oh. Great save by Howard. Jeez. Oh, that took a fortuitous bounce for Phoenix. And Lombardi stopped by Howard. That's unbelievable how that puck came back. And Lombardi right. I mean, everybody, look at everybody turn here. You're turning your back on everything. Thinking the puck's coming here. And this baby ends up right back in front this way. Oh, my God. Fortunately for Detroit, Lombardi just slapped at it, and Howard was in a perfect position. Puck back to the line. Rabata threw it in. Then Lillian knocked his man down as Stepniak was sent flying. Helm will force the issue on Jovanovski, and he comes up with it. And turning back is Martin Hansel, who leaves it there. 40 seconds left in the Franzen penalty. Intercepted by Eves. And chipped back down. Out of that, the Redmonds will get a change. Ready, Bravada. In deep it goes. Turning is Stewart. Cronwall will slip it past his check. Miller couldn't get it out. A coin in front blocked by Stewart. Cleary's got it on his stick. He's checked. Pinching in goes O'Coin. Back of the net. Stewart again. Again, that hit a stanchion. Doesn't out. get out as a result. O'Coin will shoot. Change direction. It's a weird one. Penalty over. Fronten out of the box. This puck never got out off the weird bounce Look out off the for partition. O'Coin's got it on the near side. Well, it is seamless glass, but coming into play here on the bounces, the way it's situated. Clary's got it. He's got to get off. He's dead tired. As a result, Cronwall will delay. Stewart will shoot it in. Briskolov stopped it for Tuzi on him. Zetterberg in the corner. Back to the point, Rafalski. Had to hurry it. First on it was Erickson. Back in comes Stilfer. Back to Rafalski. Behind the goal, the reach for Bertuzzi. McCulloch in there. Zetterberg to help. In front to Filpola. It's blocked. Erickson, good work to get it to Rafalski. Rebound in front of the goal. Oh, the puck was just laying there, and Filpola couldn't get a stick on it. And Bertuzzi got a piece of it. He knocks Winnick to the ice, did Bertuzzi. And now Daniel Winnick gets up and carries to center ice. Into the Red Wing zone. Zetterberg got him. Here goes Franzen. He's got a break. He's got Pelpola. Pulls back, shoots, and a save for Scala. Oh, he had Franzen on one side and Zetterberg in behind. Zetterberg turning back in. He's got to be exhausted. Franzen back of the net. Freed up for Stewart. Red Wings in the midst of a change here. Zetterberg will finally get off. Cronwall. Oh, and he just Cronwalled North Carolina. <laughs> Puck came free. Wolski plays it deep. Off the glass, knocked down by Stewart. Datsuk, Holmstrom shooting, and missed that. Didn't get what he wanted on it. Cronwall toward the net. Datsuk with all day, and he lost his balance. There Boy, did he have room. Oh, Wolski <laughs> saw Cronwall coming. In comes Lombardi. Off a change. What Saved by save. Howard on Oh, Michael. Here Ooh. comes Tetsu. Working into the middle. Fends off a check. Keeps control. Triple team. Lidstrom's got it. Threw it back in behind the Coyote net. Yandel. He went down. Either they got bad sharpeners. Or both sides. I mean, the machines aren't working tonight. Or the ice is terribly terrible shape. Here comes Cleary with Helm and Miller. O'Coin clears Look it. Miller here. checks him. Sent past Rafalski in a break. Tedler with Doan. To him. Doan scores! You saw that one coming from 150 feet away.
Might have been a bouncing puck that caused this one right in front of the Coyotes bench. There was the turnover right there. Oh, it's a coin that makes the play up the middle. Nice play. And now it's a two on one. And they do succeed in taking the pass. Lipstrom isn't able to take it away and Shane Doan scores his second goal in about 25 games. Pretty wild. 9-24, the time of the goal. Fiddler assisting in a 4-4 tie. The Red Wings had all that pressure. Derek Morris getting the other assist. So it was 3-3 after two. It's now 4-4 midway through the third. There's Valtteri Coppola, and with him in mind, it's time for the Volkswagen drive to the net. Well, let's tied the game at three, and moments ago, Shane Dine, uh, Doan tied it at four. And just after that, as we were going to break, Justin Abdelkader ends up in the penalty box. Detroit is short-handed with 10-18 to go in a 4-4 game. He took a slashing penalty in the offensive zone at Abdelkader. He had given the Red Wings the lead. Here's Yandel, doesn't shoot it, and it's blocked. Stewart got a skate down in front of that. Huge penalty kill here for the Red Wings. We're at the halfway point, third period. Ken Daniels, Mickey Redman in the broadcast booth. Glad you're staying up late with us tonight. What a game. Lombardi for Dome. He's had a terrific first two games as Dome. As has Volsky. Back in front, given right back to Helm and down the ice it goes. As Helm's driven to the boards by Dome. Both teams change. Red Wings getting... Fresh legs out there for the penalty kill as Keith Yandel dropped it back. Carried in by Lombardi. Hansel back to O'Coin. Jovanovski had it blocked. Puck came loose to Lombardi in the corner. Rubbed out by Cronwall. Hansel to the point. Jovanovski, quick shot blocked by Miller. And right back to Howard who will hold it. 49 seconds left in the applicator penalty. I guess this far penalty kill isn't too important, is it? Boy, this has been a wild kind of a hockey game, boy. All this goal scoring come out of nowhere. Draw goes to Phoenix. Stepniak, chased by Lidstrom. Hit the linesman. Right to Datsu. Knocked off his stick, keeps control of it. Now sent one in. And he got knocked to the ice by Hansen. And Jovanovski with it. To Verbata. Left wing feed to Hansel. Verbata goes to the goal. Jovanovski couldn't get a clear shot to the net. Stepniak. Lidstrom working on him. Put it into the middle. Good reach by Eves he to get the helm. And he's got three to beat now. Get some help though. Zetterberg off the bench. But the puck goes to the corner. Stepniak with it as the penalty to Abdicator has expired. So the Wings kill that one off. Four for four on the penalty kill tonight. Much different than two nights ago. This game is totally different. Now, Phoenix Coyotes, in spite of that the other night, three power play goals, one of the best teams five on five this year in the NHL. Even strength, they were very good. Puck is in deep and cleared by the Coyotes to center. Batted out. Back into the Red Wings zone. Rafalski will turn back.
Holmstrom for Datsu. On a backhand, save for Zgala. Daniel Winnick. He gets hit hard by Stewart. Holmstrom again, it took a weird bounce. The puck was loose, but referee Chris Rooney lost sight of it. Well, that's why the whistle went. We'll step out for a moment. Tied at four, third period, game two. Welcome back to Javing.com Arena. In a 4-4 tie, shots are 32-27 Detroit. 7.08 to go. Now, well, Datsuk's got himself goal tonight. And a face-off win to Littstrom. They jam up in the corner as Rafalski will go after him. Took the hit from Hansen. Lifted back in by Phoenix. And right back out to Holmstrom. And had the puck taken away. Verbata. Came free in the middle for Lidstrom. He waits and gives back to Rafalski. Ooh. He's got that suit going. Pass into his glove to his stick and a save by Brzgalov and he gathers in the rebound. Now place a small deposit on 2010-11 Red Wings season ticket plan right now and enjoy current benefits like priority on this year's playoff tickets below box office prices. For more information, visit DetroitRedWings.com. In the last play there, Brian Rafalski had no way to take it on the ice to Pavel Datsuk, so he decided to be a quarterback, throw it up in the air, Pavel caught it, and away he went towards the net. Stepniak will just play it out to center. A little further by Winnick, a race for the puck as Fiddler forces Zetterberg, knocks him off the puck. But Zetterberg will come away with it. Joining is Stewart. Zetterberg into the zone of Bertuzzi. Fake the shot. Now shoots rebound. Scores! Uh -oh. Henrik Zetterberg! Bertuzzi sent it to the goal and Zetterberg buried it. 5-4 with 6.06 to play. This play, Ken. You, you, you described it as it was happening. Fiddler grabbed a hold of Zetterberg down on the corner, had possession of the puck at one point. Watch this down, look down here. And how does Zetterberg come up with the puck and start this play up the ice? I don't know. Fiddler's left wondering, what the heck is that? Look at bodies flying all over the place. And Bertuzzi double pumps. Zetterberg goes to the net. Three guys turn their back on Z, and he pops it in the open side in a big, fat, juicy rebound by Brzgalov. Wow. Zetterberg's second goal of the night. And the Red Wings have the lead again. Todd Bertuzzi's got a second assist. So 5-4 now. Kevin any nails left, Red Wing fans? Conwall. 13.54, time of the goal. key now is Detroit can't sit back. No, but they cannot afford to open it up. They got caught with the three guys before in deep. You got to have two deep at, at most, not three. In a one goal game like this, you can't afford to overdo going for your offense. Take it if it's there, but don't try to force it. Although, as we've said all year, the Coyotes hang around and they're opportunists. The Red Wings trying to hold them off. We're back in a moment. Thank you, Mickey. This place is standing. Here's a different angle, Ken, of this play. Watch right there, guys. He's got him boxed out completely. Watch the right foot. Kicks the puck up. Fiddler's looking the other way. Boom. Three Coyotes are caught. And away goes Zetterberg. And Todd Bertuzzi made a nice play not to just dump it at the net too quickly. Waited. Had some screens. And they get rewarded with the 5-4 go-ahead goal. Zetterberg from Bertuzzi, 13-54. Zetterberg just relishes that kind of close contact like that, I'll tell you. Here's Filpel. He's got a big goal tonight as well. Bertuzzi. He's got it. Shoots it. And Brzgalov got enough on it. He didn't get enough on it, though, Bertuzzi. They don't get it out. 
Zetterberg again. Saved by Brzgala. Puck to the middle. Miller shot it high. Here's Zetterberg. Back in front. Just missed Philpola. Red Wings able to change their defense on the fly as they keep control of the puck. Now McCulloch clears it. Red Wings controlling here. Lead pass, Miller. He's got Franzen with him as he got hit hard to the boards. Gonna go deep with that thing. Franzen trying to fight off a check. He gets knocked down. Lombardi turning back in his own end. Yandel will shoot it in. Don't knock Lidstrom aside. Lidstrom gets his stick in there. They kick at it. Drew Miller with some good effort. Lidstrom to Datsu. Doesn't get it out. Broken stick Morris. And we've got a penalty coming here. Green Dome. Phoenix. Yep. Wow. Wow. He was trying to take liberties with Nick Lidstrom. It's time for tonight's Miller Lite. Taste greatness moment. Now we know Pavel Datsuk's a thief on the ice. And how about Justin Applegate? That was a great moment. The late penalty was coming to the Coyotes. But Applicator buried it, negating that. Had given the Red Wings the lead until Doan tied it, but now Doan's in the box. Interference, the penalty to Doan. So with four to go, Red Wings hope to get one here. If not, it'll get two minutes off the clock. As they're responsible their own end. That'll help, too. Yep. One for two tonight. Phoenix's power play, by the way, 0 for 4 after being 3 for 4 last night. So even strength's been the story tonight as opposed to the power plays yep. in game one. Zetterberg, Philpola, Bertuzzi. Off the draw. Zetterberg kicked it over. Has to get a new stick. Puck is loose. Cleared back to the line. Cronwall. But the Red Wings are back because Zetterberg go. had to go get a stick. He's Throw. held by Fiddler. He grabbed him. Cronwall offside. Who's hurt? Fiddler? Yep. He seemed to be laboring earlier in the game, too. I think he might have crashed into the boards here. Hit, hit first. He was chasing Zetterberg right here. He trips over his own teammate and hits his head on the board. He tripped over Daniel Winnick's skate. Now well, it's time for a Jeep game summary. And here's all the scoring tonight with assists. We know there's so many poolies out there. On your rotisserie pools here for the playoffs. Well, you'll be up to date tonight in terms of the scoring in this one. It's another one goal game right now for these Stanley Cup playoffs. What is it all but a couple now have been decided by a goal throughout the Stanley Cup playoffs. Unbelievable. And one other game still going tonight. San Jose and Colorado after the Avs stole game one at the Shark Tank. And after two periods, it's 4-4 there. Shoot out there, eh? And unbelievable. And that Nashville game with Chicago, two or empty net goals to decide it. What was a 4-1 Nashville victory over the Hawks? Those are two and the Devils games. win. Empty net goal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody goal. just throw some junk on the ice. Well, that's stupid. Don't tell. Here come the snakes. Who the heck? Oh, hello. Huh? Oh, octopus. Well, still stupid. Can't do that. Started Donnie Brook in the stands, for goodness sake. Jumping, jeepers. Well, just the octopus here, so the Red Wing fans, that's, uh, yeah. wouldn't be the Coyote fans who uh, threw snakes the other night. I guess it's that's un It's unsportsmanlike, no matter who they are. And they got the boot out of the building. One forty left in the Dome penalty. The Red Wings are on a bell tire power play. Shots are 
Red Wings one for two man advantage tonight. You can put this one away with a goal here. And head home with a split. That was their objective coming here to the desert. Win one of the first two. Take it home for three of the next five games at the Joe. They need them all. You know they'll win this series. They'll definitely be making one more trip back here for Friday night. A week from tonight. Back in this building. With a couple of days off. After game four, before game five. Lidstrom. Perdatsu. Turns back. Rafalski. Shooting one. Get a body in front to flex to the corner for Datsu. If you can find uh, Holmstrom or Franz and cutting across the front for that redirection, that might be the play of the day, like Zetterberg's first goal. Here's Lidstrom to Datsu, wide open, and Rizgalov got a piece as Datsu let that one go. Ahead for Nokalainen. 35 seconds left in the zone penalty. The linesman went right into the Red Wing bench. Rafalski waits for a change to be completed. Filppula, Bertuzzi, and Zetterberg. Filppula, Bertuzzi, back to him. Zetterberg picks it up to Cronwall. Cross through the seam. Back to the line. Stewart shooting. Filppula picks it up off the backboards. And shoots one. Scores! Valtteri Filppula with Bertuzzi and Zetterberg at the goal. And it's a power play goal and a 6-4 lead with 2.06 to play. Well, as big as uh, Ilya Brzezgalov is, he's down on his knees. There's still spot in the top corner, short side, and Filpola, who will probably be a star in this game, makes it 6-4. to four. They leave him alone. He goes with traffic, and it's right in the top of the corner, short side. Two goal lead Detroit with 2.06 to play. What a shot. Wow. Nice job by Bertuzzi. And this has been an absolute wild one. That's what the Red Wings spoke of. Get to wow. the goal before this game. I know they always say create traffic in the playoffs, but they've done a better job tonight of it. Their 38th shot produces their sixth goal. Two on the power play tonight. Two for three is Detroit. 0 for four is Phoenix. Long shot. Howard stopped it. That soups away. Rizgalov was way out of the net but didn't go as the puck comes back to center as Datsuk was hit hard. Stolen puck. Around. Here goes Franzen into the zone. And Morris cut him off. Look how tall. He got hit hard. You got to keep your head over this guy. Somebody's got to get the stick up on him. Bouncing got back to the corner. Only way to protect yourself from somebody running around like that is put the Louisville up to him and let him chew on it. Stop that real fast. Game three Sunday afternoon at the Joe at 3 o'clock. Zetterberg's long pass. Prskalov can't get out of the net. 120 to go. Back in deep. Phoenix trying to get out here. Brought in by Pruka. Prskalov to the bench. Six skaters. Howard's got it. And he holds on. Now is a lengthy time for the whistle to go. Well, as we mentioned, the team winning game two in a series after being down 0-1 goes on to win the series 53.1% of the time. And as the Red Wings looking to get even here tonight, and that last goal for the Red Wings from Coppola was a, a power play goal with Shane Doan in the box, and here's why. In the, the late, corner. The delayed hit way up there. Bring it back and show it again, guys, so the fans know now what to look for. Thank you for that backup. Watch, the play's already long gone. Lidstrom's looking the other way, and Doan makes an unnecessary hit and interferes with number five. And as good a hockey player as Shane Doan is, that was a bad mistake for him there. And that may have cost his hockey team the game because Zetterberg scored on the ensuing power play. Coppola with three points tonight. Give me a start. Two, Two goals, three. should be. Yeah. And Stewart and Cronwall assisting on that power play goal at 17. 54. And on the other, I can tell you that our next April in the D Red Wings telecast in this series is game four. Next Tuesday night at the Joe, coverage begins at 6 with Red Wings Live. The game, an early start once again, 6 30. Red Wings playoff hockey presented by Bell Tire Tuesday night on Fox Sports Detroit and in high def on Fox Sports Detroit HD. And
for Mike Babcock's team when the Wings have lost the opener and then have gone on to win game two. They've gone on to win five of their past six series. The only exception in that time, the Flames in 04 when they had that magical run to the final. Mm -hmm. So the Red Wings have another 55 seconds to deal with here. And it'll be stop and play and offside. The faceoff will come outside the Red Wing line. Well, it's a good thing it's a Friday night back home in Detroit. Is it Friday in Phoenix? So everybody can stay up, see? Not yet. Well, we're into, we're into well, Saturday now. Phoenix, but not Saturday. We're right. Saturday in Detroit Saturday, now, but yep. everybody can stay up. And this has been one entertaining hockey game. Holy. 19 minutes to one back home. An empty net for Zetterberg. Patrick. Curly, curly fries. Patrick and Curly Fries, yes indeed. Henrik Zetterberg. One in the regular season, now one in the playoffs for Henrik. And it's a 7-4 game with the empty netter and a three-goal night. How unlikely is that? 7-4. Wow. You know, when I read that Curly Fries mentioned earlier, I wasn't convinced it could happen. No, not in the first period. <laughs> but it did. Well, this has been something else, boy. We'll bring in a copy what of the a, summary to Arby's tomorrow and get your curly fries. What a uh, what a pushback by the Detroit Red Wings after being out hit and hammered around and banged around and beaten in game one. To come back tonight and the goals were going in every 40 seconds in the second period. And Detroit just kept coming back. They had lots of push. And I think they surprised a lot of these young Phoenix players say wow this is the real Red Wings tonight for sure Some more octopus on the ice 19 12 the time of the goal officially 47.1 left so they rounded up to 48 seconds 19 12 the time of the goal the hat trick for Henrik Zetterberg and you can find a copy of that summary at FoxSportsDetroit.com so Early fives for all tomorrow. Head to Arby's. Thanks to Henrik Zetterberg. Second time. He's going already. <laughs> have another have another ginger ale in a boy. <laughs> Red Wing fans celebrating, and they'll That's be way to do heading it. back to Hockey Town <laughs> for game three Sunday afternoon. And game four for you Tuesday night here on Fox Sports Detroit, and game five next Friday night. And as the Red Wings are going to go home all even at one, they met their objective. That guy, that guy knew the true meaning of top to bottom. You are a beauty. <laughs> off the go post. Oh, that got past Howard and off the post. A half minute to go and Ablocator. He scored a huge goal tonight. Into the Phoenix zone. Eves going in along with LaPistol. Eves has it. Put it back in behind the goal so Ablocator will go in. Into the third and fourth lines ever respond tonight for Detroit. What a night Ablocator's had. I'll tell you what. This kid, something else. Five seconds left to count it down. The Red Wing fans are plenty here, and the Red Wings go home all even and one with a 7-4 victory. Look out, Shane Doan's coming after somebody. He came after Draper, faked like he was going to spear him. Remember, Doan said today he likes yeah. not to like him, but right. they got to be friends at World Championships. Right. Jimmy Howard picks up his first playoff victory. Doan is still chewing at the both referees. But probably about the penalty calls on him, but he can't blame them. When he cools down and sees the replay, he'll probably, yeah, I guess they probably shouldn't have gone after him like that in that situation. That decision by Mr. Doan led to the winning goal. Well, the Red Wings did what they had to do. They got one out of here, especially after losing the opener. They're going home all even. Right, Mickey York in our call, Sam Studios. We're preparing the welcoming party, Kenny. Thank you so much. Coming up on Red Wings Live, John Keating will bring us the interviews from a very happy Red Wings dressing room, including a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Mike Babcock. We'll look back at all the wild highlights from this one, and Larry Murphy is here to help us break it all down. That's all coming up next on a very special playoff edition of Red Wings Live.